2020 is here, and with a new year on the horizon, we should be looking to improve not only ourselves, but the environment. How do we do that? Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and here are 27 ways that you can clean and cut down on waste. 1. Rather than using water or a plastic cup that will be tossed away once you're done drinking your beverage, buy containers that are multi-use. A sturdy water bottle is great for on-the-go instances. You will be able to carry more water around and you can reuse it. Some also remind you when it's time to drink so that you're always staying hydrated. 2. I know this is probably blasphemous as cake cups make things convenient for us in the mornings. The thing is though, this is so wasteful. You're using a cup only once, then tossing it in the trash. It better to go with the old school way of making coffee. And if you want to use a Keurig machine, buy a multiple use K-cup to put coffee grounds in. Three, straws are one of the most useless items and one of the items that we toss away without any thought to it. Oftentimes these plastic straws are harming sea turtles and other animals in our oceans. There are some great options though, to use straws and not have them be plastic. You can buy reusable metal straws, or many places are opting for paper straws. 4. Believe me, it's easy to continuously buy out food every day for lunch. You avoid the burden of cooking the night before and thinking about what you want to eat. If you are eating out every day though, you're spending too much money, not eating right, and creating more garbage than necessary. For your wallet, health, and the environment, make your own food and use reusable containers to transport your food. You can also save takeout containers to get extra use out of them if you do happen to eat out. 5. You have probably seen many grocery stores sell reusable shopping bags as an option to buy so you don't have to use plastic bags anymore. Buy a few and bring them with you every time you shop so that you can transport your food and not contribute to plastic waste. This will become a force of habit that will make you wonder why you never did it before. 6. Just like the previous point, also bring brown paper bags with you to go food shopping. Some stores also offer this option, and you can request it when checking out, instead of using plastic bags. Paper bags will eventually decompose, and that is better for the environment. Plus, you don't want a bunch of unnecessary plastic bags around your home. 7. There are stores that allow you to pick how many nuts and grains you want. Usually, they offer either a plastic bag or a plastic container to feed these grains into. Instead of collecting what you need this way, bring your own mason jar to the store. You can weigh out what you want and be able to reuse the jar without creating more waste. 8. We are in the age of technology and therefore, paper magazines and newspapers are kind of on the way out. This kind of subscription causes a mess because, let's be honest, how many of us actually read what is sent to us? Instead, magazines and newspapers often end up on the coffee table and piled up with no rhyme or reason. Cancel these subscriptions and read whatever you need to online for free. 9. When it comes to shaving, razors are already expensive. If you get the single-use razors, you're disposing some of them. This creates waste and is a waste of money. Instead, opt for an electric razor or wax kit. This is not only better for you than the traditional disposable razor, but better for your wallet and the environment. 10. We all have a roll of paper towels in the kitchen that we constantly reach for. This is a lot of unnecessary waste. Instead of having to constantly buy a paper towel, use cloth towels instead. Whether you are wiping your hands or the counter, use and reuse a cloth towel. It's as simple as a cleanup as tossing it in the laundry when you are done with it. 11. Ladies, using tampons or pads during your time of the month is a huge waste to the environment. You are constantly having to buy packages of these items and having to toss them away every few hours. Instead of using sanitary napkins, opt for something like a menstrual cup instead. It's better for the environment and so much healthier for yourself. You will wonder why you never used this before. 12. So many diapers. If you're a new parent, you know the struggle. This wasteful product costs money and builds up in a very stinky way. This is why you should look into investing in cloth diapers. 
They are durable, reusable, and washable. Not only that, but you can get a cloth diaper that will make your baby stylish, and you can have a few to change out when the other is in the wash as your baby is growing bigger. 13. It's just as easy to go to the store and pick up some cans of dog food for your beloved pooch at home. But your doggy deserves so much more than processed junk that is made in a factory. You can look up simple recipes online to make your own dog food. And you know what is going into your dog's food. The same goes with cat food. Make sure your furry children are happy and healthy with their own customized food. 14. When you are done with clothes, you tend to simply throw them out. This is wasteful, as there are a lot of people who could use your clothing. If you don't have anyone in your family to hand them down to, give your clothing to charity. You can either go to a Goodwill or even drop them off in boxes designated to collecting clothes for the homeless. 15. This will require a little bit of cleaning on your part, but if you are not using plastic when going grocery shopping, then you should follow suit with all plastics in the house. If you are compositing, then it shouldn't get too messy for you. Either way, avoid the plastic garbage bags and use degradable garbage bags when you're doing your cleaning session. 16. There are brands of toilet paper that make their rolls without the cardboard one in the middle. These are a huge waste, as we simply toss them away afterward. There's no need to even make these, and therefore, you should buy a roll without one. When you're done with the toilet paper roll, you'll simply be out of toilet paper. It's as easy as that. 17. Instead of using paper cups to transport your coffee, buy a transportable coffee mug. You can buy one of any size or color so that you can bring it with you on your trip to work or anywhere that you go. Get one with a handle and a removable lid for when you are in the office so you don't feel like you even have a travel mug with you. 18. As much as it is easier to use paper plates instead of using your regular dishes due to cleanup, this is a waste of resources and your money. You are literally throwing your dollars away after you've used a plate. This goes for spoons, forks, and knives. Even chopsticks should be substituted for wood or metal ones to cut down on waste. 19. Composting is a great way to return what you've eaten back to the earth. If you have room in your kitchen, buy a composting machine. This is great for those who have gardens, as the compost can be returned to the earth and you will literally see the fruits of your labor. It's an easy way to make a big step towards reducing waste. 20. We understand that this may be expensive, but if you have the means to do it, then by all means, do it. Buying an electric car means you are no longer relying on fossil fuels that are running out and harming the environment. By getting an electric car, you are investing in clean energy. They also don't look half bad. 21. Let's say you don't have the means for an electric car. Bike to work. Depending on how far you live from work, try using a bicycle every once in a while. You will be contributing less to the backup that commuters have in the morning. You will also not be wasting any fuel, and you will get a great exercise out of it too. 22. It is often the case that when something doesn't work for us, we immediately think to throw it out and simply buy a new one, especially if the price is pretty low. But don't let the price tag lead you astray. Look to see if what you have can be repaired first. This way you are not contributing to the wasteful mentality of simply tossing something out. 23. Let's talk about toilet paper again. You are going to need a lot more of it over time, so buy in bulk. There are certain items that it pays to stock up in. There are others, such as food, that have an expiration date that don't. Make sure you are honest with yourself of when you would eat certain things. In that case, do not buy in bulk. 24. This follows the same mantra of when we told you not to drink K-cups. Again, you are thinking to yourself that tea bags are just convenient. They are also a waste. By using loose leaf teas, you are avoiding the use of the bag and the little paper tag that goes along with it. It's all simple things that you wouldn't have thought of, but they all make a difference. 25. What is a better way to clean up than stop wasting food and money when you buy your own food? By potting up tomatoes, basil, and other herbs, you are giving yourself the freshest of the fresh. 
You're saving money and you know exactly where your food is coming from. Who doesn't like having fresh mint in an ice cold glass of lemonade in the hot weather? 26. When you are not on a budget, you tend to spend money like there's no tomorrow. If you had a budget though, you could watch what you are spending your money on and what you are wasting your money on. Be smart about this. You could pretend you are saving for a vacation to help you save money. When all is said and done, then take yourself on a real vacation with all the money you saved. 27. Finally, it's the little things in life. As you move through your house, whether you have kids or pets, there might be items on the floor, items out of place. Rather than leaving it be, pick up as you go. This is an easy way to clean up, and it's effortless. You aren't stopping to do anything, rather just moving with the flow of your day. You will have a cleaner house by just being mindful of your home. And, and that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. For more cleaning and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.